Hello, we are in Bratislava. We've Slovakia. just taken the bus um, from the airport to the train station and now we are just on a little bit of a walk to our hotel through the old town. It's summer in Europe and it couldn't be any better. We don't understand the language so much, but it's kind of familiar. It's like Budapest. It's nice and hot, but with a cool breeze and it's just lovely to be here. Been in the that? hotel room, That's and I suddenly said to JP, "Oh, I think it's raining." He thought I was joking. It actually was pouring. About half an hour ago, it was bright sunshine, and I said, "Look, there's a storm cloud." And what did you say? Oh, there's not. Oh, it's not going to rain. Literally thunder. Oh, uh, there's like there. yeah, there's like huge, puddles everywhere. Huge puddles everywhere. We're not used to this whatsoever. <laughs> Great view. It took us about five minutes to find the entrance. Turns out, though, it's like right down there, right at the bottom. It just says it's the museum, um, but you don't realise that you can also get to the tower from here. And it's really cheap to get in. It was only three euros for student price, which they kindly gave to us. Amazing beer of the big Europe road trip 2019. Cheers from Bratislava. JP, first dinner in Slovakia. You Slovakian have got. You're gonna try it? That's a cheese bacon gnocchi. Here we go. Now, three nice. And then I would try mine in a second. I have got a beef goulash. It looks like bread, but I actually dumpling. think these are dumplings. <laughs> here the Slovak pub some beer. We had homemade beer, it was delicious wasn't it? It was really good, it's still light outside. Yeah it's like 8pm. Feels it like midnight. Right, <laughs> <laughs> we are completely on the wrong time so I think we need to go to bed very soon. Because welcome back to the river we last saw nine, river, 19 months ago when here is a little video showing us in Budapest on our mini moon in December 2017. And that is the same river that runs all the way from here, in fact a long way from here, through here, all the way to Budapest, which is kind of called one of the most important rivers in Europe. And it's a beautiful summer's evening rather than a chilly winter's day. So it's past 8pm at night and it's still so bright. Right. Just cannot get used to this. We are on the way to the Blue Church. Uh, which is going to be really pretty, so let's hope we can find it. Okay, made it to the Blue Church, which means we are heading back to the hotel and we'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Good morning! <laughs> we are in Bratislava still. We've been out running this morning. It was a beautiful temperature. Perfect start to the day. And now we need to go and get some breakfast. So I'll just quickly show you the room. We've been staying in Park Inn Hotel, which is near the river. Um, they're kind of standard all over Europe. I've stayed in a couple before. You've got a nice bed ample space around the bed and then back there you've got a separate toilet and shower and then on this side there's like some coffee making facilities and storage. Here's some coffee. Look at that. Beautiful. Zucchini noodles, whatever that is. Salmon, pancakes, egg, hollandaise. Castle Hill, you can see Castle almost in the background of us. 
and that is about all we've got time for in Bratislava. We need to make our way down the hill and then where are we going? Vienna, Austria. Courtyard kind of area now. Where are we, JP? Kind of in the museum quarter. Everywhere you look is amazing architecture and it's a beautiful day. So we've just been inside the National Library, which is where the State Hall is, and it looks like something out of Beauty and the Beast. It just looks incredible. But there was also so much information in there, all about Maximilian. Maximilian? I think so. Yeah, it was really interesting, all about globes, mapping, um, adventures in the 14th century, 15th yeah. century, around then. I am perfect just like you. In every way, yes, it's true. What have we got, JP? Apfel Strudel, famous Viennese. Like <laughs> Whatever you say or do. Look at this. We're in Cafe Prukel. It's 150 years old. It's quintessentially Viennese. We've got Apfel Strudel. And what do we call this one? A sac au tort. Sac and tort. The famous chocolate cake. We're about to try it for the first time. Okay, absolutely not meant to eat this. That's way too big for my <laughs> Look at that. Thoughts? It's good, I like the icing part. Welcome back to Vienna. We have just had a really, really good coffee and a cake and now we're off to the cathedral. Yeah, we are just it's just in front of us now. We're stood by Cafe Dinglas, which also looks very beautiful. And we're hoping to head up the South Tower and get a view across the whole of the city. We just entered the South Tower for the cathedral. We've got three hundred and how many steps? Three hundred and forty three, but you've already done eight, so it's alright. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it to the top. Oh, oh wow, well, this, this is windy. windy. <laughs> this is like Sagrada Familia. It is a bit, isn't it? Darker. <sighs> We made it. Not much way. Not sure that was my best idea. 343 steps. I could. It's the narrowest staircase, and in the Battle of Vienna and the Siege of Vienna, this is where the city was defended from. And I just read up until the 1950s, they had people stationed up here all the time to warn if there was going to be a storm or a fire or something like that. And since then, it's been a really good tourist spot. Cool. Thanks for the history. Ready for the down. Time to go down. How many steps? It's where we've just been. Nearly 700 steps up and down we've done. Yeah. My legs are shaking. Should we go get some coffee? Let's get some coffee. Here we are with our coffee. There coffee they are. in a cone. Look at this. An absolutely beautiful work of art. So we've got, just got it from this little cute, um, what do you call it? It's like in the side of a wall. It's like a little hole in the wall coffee yeah. place. Yeah. It's cute. It's, it's the only really, place we've been really that only takes card. Guy was really kind. <laughs> so many different coffees on the menu, but we had to go. What was it called? A cappuccino Cornetto. <laughs> Con so, yeah. Cornetto Chino. Mm. That is delicious. It's a really good like idea. Chocolate here, so it tastes like a little bit chocolatey. Magic. Mm. Hit the road. See you next time. 